In this video, we will learn about power functions and their properties. A power function has the form k times x to the power m, where k and m are constant real numbers. Here x is known as the base and m is known as the exponent. Let's define a power. A power is a value that is multiplied by itself m times. This is represented with an exponent m to indicate the number of times x is multiplied. For example, 2 to the power 3 means 2 multiplied by itself 3 times, which is equal to 8. Here is a list of properties for power functions. We will demonstrate how each property is derived. The product of powers is x to the power m times x to the power n. Expanding both terms, we have x multiplied m times in blue and x multiplied n times in purple, totaling m plus n x's. This can be written as x to the power of m plus n. As an example, we have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2, which gives us 5 2's multiplying, which is 2 to the power of 5. This equates 32. Similarly, if we have a ratio of powers, we subtract the exponents. x to the power m divided by x to the power n is x to the m minus n. For a power of 0, we can analyze x to the m times x to the 0. Using the product property, we get x to the power of m plus 0, which produces x to the m. This can only be true if x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. As an example, 3 to the power of 0 is 1. In negative powers, we will look at the scenario where x to the power m multiplies x to the power of negative m. Using the product of powers, we obtain x to the power of m minus m. This produces x to the power of 0 which we have previously determined to be exactly 1. For this to be true, it requires x to the power of negative m to be exactly 1 over x to the power of m. As an example, 3 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 2, which is 1 over 9 or 0 0.11. Fractional powers are given by x to the power of 1 over m. Let's look at the case of x to the one-half multiplied by x to the one-half. This is equivalent to x to the power of one-half plus one-half, which is x to the one, or simply x. The only way that x to the one-half multiplied by itself produces x is if x to the one-half is equal to the square root of x. In general form, x to the one over m is the mth root of x. As an example, 4 to the 1 half is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. For power to the power, where we have x to the m to the n, we can separate x multiplied by itself m times, and these are multiplied n times. As a result, we obtain x to the m times n. An example is 4 to the power 3 to the power 2 which is 4 multiplied by itself 3 times, and this in turn is multiplied twice. This produces 4 to the power 6, which is 4096. x times y to the m is the power of product. This is equivalent to x times y m times. We can reorganize the variables such that the x's are on one side and the y's are on another. This produces x to the m times y to the m. As an example, 3 times 2 to the power 2 is equal to 3 times 2 twice. We can reorganize the 3s and 2s to obtain 3 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 2. Finally, this is equivalent to 9 times 4, or 36. It is important to note that when we have a ratio the equivalent happens where x over y to the m is equal to x to the m over y to the m. Here we present again the power properties we just covered. 
Finally, we can observe a few examples of what the power functions look like graphically. We have x to the 1, x to the 2, x to the 3, x to the negative 2, x to the negative 3, and x to the 1 half. If you like this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content.